Hello. Well, welcome back to uh, CTE Finally Explained, Part 3. And just wanted to uh, start with uh, our large object ball, uh, which actually re represents a large object ball, and the cube ball, which you see the dot. Um, the large object ball is uh, shows three lines. The three lines represents A, B, and C, which are uh, considered thin, moderate, and thick. So the A is a kind of what they would you, would you consider a thin cut. B is again moderate. C is thick. If you can see, there's also uh, a dots on the right side of the C and the left side of the A. That's considered a one eighth point, and that would be a very very thin cut. So if you're looking to do a thin cut on this particular shot, you'd be hitting on the left side of that A. And these are aim lines. So what you do is you'll be pivoting your cue, uh, aiming it from the right side of the cue ball to one of these lines, and then pivoting your cue to center cue ball, and then subsequently hitting it right in. So again, this is something that we'll do in the following videos. And um, you'll be seeing a whole bunch of different shots uh, that, uh, that uh, will represent some of these lines. So here we have uh, the next uh, clip is a, uh, a lineup of three shots and the red line shows you exactly where you have to hit. So it's right side of the cue ball to A on a, on a thin cut, um, B is moderate and uh, C is thick. Uh, once you have these lines set up, you just pivot your cue to center cue ball and then shoot. And this is again for right side. Here is a, an object ball, and most of these balls are lined up uh, parallel. You see a series of shots like this. The cue ball is uh, between the um, dots on the, on the bottom rail, uh, so it's a center, between center dot and uh, the dot closest to the cue ball. The object, the object ball is on the dot, and you know, you pivot over to uh, left, left of the object ball. In this case, it's A. You're just going to pivot over to center, and you're in. Again, the cue ball, as you can see, if it's lined up uh, just a little bit forward of that dot, both of these balls are parallel. Uh, the object ball looks like it's about uh, almost at a right angle between the dot on the bottom and the dot forward. So, um, you know, it's a fairly thin slice. This is a one-eighth cut into the right corner pocket. You're going to be utilizing right center edge of the cue ball, excuse me, right right edge of the cue ball, and hitting it to the left side of that object ball to uh, a spot. So we're going to be lining up uh, the, the cue, and uh, once you get that that line up like that, you just bring back your hand, you kind of aim, pivot over from right to left, center cue ball. Boom. CT is very complex. I've been shooting uh, well over 50 years. Um, pretty much I've been primarily using a ghost ball, of course, like anybody else. Uh, I picked up CT about a year or so ago, uh, watching YouTube videos from Stan Shufford and John Barton, and uh, kind of got into it. And now I've been using it extensively. It works for me. Um, I kind of morphed into a little bit of a different uh, system. Um, you know, there is uh, areas you may have heard of left pivoting, right pivoting. Um, Stan Shuff, it's more of a visual aiming technique. In other words, you have to visualize the aiming side. I tend to use my cue as an aiming tool. Uh, so again, this is my take. Um, the areas that uh, I'm hitting uh, works, again, works for me. I'm trying to keep my pivot down to one side or another. I'm right-handed and left eye dominant. So again, you have to figure out which is best for you in terms of that pivot. You can actually pivot from left to right um, and just you know find yourself as, as best you can where you got to be. Just keep your your uh, left leg in back of that cue ball, kind of your V in your hand in back of the cue ball so you can get the right spot. If you feel you're drifting over a little bit or it's just not working out for you, you can kind of make an adjustment. Uh, again, watch uh, our, uh, my videos, part one and two. You can kind of get a little more visualization. So as you, again, you could pivot you know, from right to left to left to right, 
and either way you're going to pivot over to center hit the edge of that ball and uh, and you get it in as you can see that ball is uh, the edge of that ball is really the point of contact at the end of the day so you're going to be utilizing that edge and um, after a little bit of practice you, you pretty much uh, could you know like not as use the pivot as much as you you if you much as you'd like you could just kind of drift into that spot just you know you, you like to say the the body follows and the eyes will follow just move it right in as stated this uh, the setup is uh, kind of routine the uh, cue ball is just between the first dot and the middle dot the bar they're parallel this is a 1 8 uh, cut right into the co co uh, corner pocket. So just again hit this um, ball uh, from the right cue ball edge to, to the 1 8 spot. You kind of have to make an adjustment on sometimes whether it's a 1 8 or A. It's pretty close. So, you know, you, you have to really kind of feel yourself out on these shots and see what, which is, uh, you know, the, the one that makes it work for you. It's a little bit of a different angle. Now, when you're from the inside, you're shooting from the inside, you actually can use an aim line of either A or B. So you could set up either aim line, and they'll both work. Uh, so you would sh when you're shooting again from the inside, uh, it's it's just uh, a way you can uh, you know change your aim line. The, um, the shot, you actually don't need any CTE because it's so close, but in any case, it just gives you an idea of where to put your hand. When you're close up, your hand should be about five or six inches uh, uh, from the cue ball. When the shot is a little bit longer, uh, you, you should put your hand back a little bit further, about seven, eight inches from the cue ball. This is a uh, kind of a straight shot, uh, just to give you some of the scope. But your straight shots, you can use. It's a little bit of an angle. You're still going to use right cue ball edge to object ball A. You're going to be uh, just again uh, twisting, uh, twisting a stick or pivoting a stick over from right to left, and uh, and just hitting a cue ball center to get this in. This is a uh, same kind of a shot, kind of kind of you know straightforward. But it, you could show you if you use a little bit of English, let's say on the right right English, you could kind of like narrow the the, the you know the take off from the the English will kind of narrow that that ball coming out. If you did it the other way, left left uh, side, you could hit the English and have the ball go across the table. This is a very steep cut. Uh, the object ball is just about in front of the dot maybe an inch or so from the rail. The cue ball is on the head spot. So it's uh, it's a nice cut. This is a 1 8 cut. Um, this is almost a, a bankable shot, but you can make it in using uh, CT. And um, this would, again, this is very thin, so you're aiming towards the 1 8 point. Pivoting over. And boom. This is a series of cuts, uh, kind of similar as before. Uh, utilizing the 1 8 uh, uh, target area. Again, you're going to be aiming the right side of the cue ball, pivoting it over. Just pivot that to the left. You got to get used to some of the pivots because it's kind of a, un a unique way of, of aiming. Uh, uh, you're almost uh, utilizing the pivot as your aim point, so it's, you have to kind of almost like trust the pivot that you'll be there, but you will be there. Uh, with enough practice, again, uh, as I stated, uh, you could lessen the pivoting and just 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 get it right into position for hitting that edge of the object ball. And, and CTE, uh, surprisingly, the um, shots like this used to use English, left English, right English, uh, all kinds of different things, but you could use center, and center works. You could slice the ball very thin, just by utilizing uh, this method.
just to getting a little bit of a different angle. Um, and it just goes shows how pretty much easy it is to hit these balls in utilizing it. Here's a very steep cut. Uh, the uh, object ball and the cue ball are lined up uh, 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 parallel. The object ball is on the dot, cue ball is uh, on the head spot, and the cue ball is on the dot. So you could just uh, pretty much cut this right in using the uh, 1 8 target area. So it's again right, cue ball edge to 1 8 Here's a nice uh, cut just to give you a different uh, take. This is uh, hitting uh, the object ball to the C. And you can push it right in. Here's a series of uh, shots. Um, just shows you some rail shots. Now I tend to hit the object ball and not really look at the pocket. Um, so I'm more, in, I'm more in line in hitting the object ball where the spot is than uh, even uh, utilizing where the pocket is. In fact, if you notice some of the CTEs, uh, uh, well, I missed on that one, but in general, I'm pretty uh, good at this stuff. Um, the object ball uh, uh, is so close that it's much easier just to aim at the object ball uh, than look at pockets. So I really seldom look at pockets. I just aim at the object ball. And if you see uh, some of the videos by Stan Shuffett, they actually put a, a blanket across the table because they don't really need to uh, utilize the, the pocket. This is a straight uh, shot, uh, kind of um, interesting uh, in terms of the um, scope. And this is a short shot, so but you can use them very long shots and they really work. Uh, CTE just works for some reason. You just line up like just like anything else. So it's uh, right cue ball edge to A and, uh, and you could just drill it in. Of course you could follow up, you could draw it back, you could use English, so on and so forth. With a little bit of practice, uh, we'll actually in the next videos, we'll be doing some real uh, tough shots and uh, you see the difference that uh, CT can make on some of these shots. Uh, you know, I moved over to a community center and I uh, just wanted to show some rail shots. This is an eight foot table, but uh, the technique is pretty much the same, aiming is aiming. So I'm just gonna be just aiming at the A spot as I pointed out and uh, just uh, shooting some balls in um, and you can, again, you know, once you get used to that, that point, um, you know, just again, since it's so close, you could just, uh, aim one after the other and, um, with a little bit of practice, you can, you know, aim for this pocket and of course, uh, cross side, et cetera, et cetera. But this is, uh, this is good stuff in terms of learning, uh, the technique, um, just utilizing, uh, the A spot. Well, that was pretty close. Actually, I'm here to promote my mini beat counter, which is on YouTube. So if you're a, um, um, if you play a lot of straight pool, this is great. It has 50 beats for each player. It has tags for every 10, lightweight, sturdy, and just a lot better than the uh, beats that uh, are in the pool hall. Whether you use it for uh, home use or a pool, pool hall, it's a great item to have. Again, it's a mini beat counter on YouTube. Appreciate any questions.